So in this lesson, we're going to look at Jamboard and how you can use it as a whiteboard to interact with students or with other individuals. You can share images. It could be a worksheet. You could both be working on it, writing on it, using your finger on your phone or whatnot. And if you use FaceTime or Google Hangouts or Google Meet, you can also video conference while you're sharing your screen. So it really brings you to another level of interactivity. Okay, so once you're logged into your Google account, you can search Jamboard in Google and you can launch it through there or you can just go to your waffles over here and scroll down and you can launch Jamboard from there if you've used it before. I'm gonna start from scratch here. Okay so here I'm gonna create a new jam. Let's rename this Bedmass. This will be a math lesson on the order of operations and I'm going to add a uh, an image from my Google Drive and let's say it's a stencil or something like that. So here, let me go to recent. There we go, order of operations. Okay, I could stretch this. And you could really zoom in on this. Okay, now this is, I, I'm doing this jam with an external Google account. If you're teachers and students and you have a G Suite account where you, you have Google accounts within the school, uh, you can uh, share this internally and you can uh, post it in Google Classroom and you can have your students on as you're using this as a whiteboard and a little later I'm going to show you how you can stream your iPad or your phone through to your laptop uh, through Google Meet and so you can have kind of a live it's almost like a live stand-up lesson in front of your whiteboard as you're drawing and the students can observe what you're teaching so now I'm going to share this with another account with say the person I want to uh, collaborate with Okay, so it's now shared with them. And I've shared this to my iPad. Okay, so let me stretch this window. Now, I'm on my iPad now with the account I shared it with. And so the student may have a question and they might draw over here. And you can see as I'm drawing on my iPad, it's showing up on my laptop. So there's that interactivity. So students can talk live using FaceTime or using Google Meet or Hangouts and they could be sharing this simultaneously so that as they're voicing they can be drawing on this whiteboard and interacting with each other and there's a lot of different features in here you can change the colors of the pens and so on and so forth let me choose a red and there you go so each student can choose a color and they can be describing exactly what they what it is they're explaining and they can write out notes now let me show you how this looks on my iPad. I've installed something up here called Air Server, and it's very cheap, but there's also a 30 day trial on this. And once you launch this, you can then go to your iPad's control center. And I'm going to show you what that looks like now. That's this over here, and I switched, I clicked on the screen mirroring, and I chose the name of my laptop. And here, this is what I'm seeing on the other end and I'm using my little iPad pen and there's a lot of different things that you can do over here you have a lot of different tools you can also add say images from uh, the internet if you click images you can go search for images online uh, you can click on this little plus sign and you can go to your camera your camera roll on your iPad your image library uh, you can add a sticky note go put that little sticky over here let me go back to the laptop I'm gonna turn my mirroring off and so again you can see that both are going back and forth and as I mentioned if you were doing a Google Meet or a Hangouts and you had Jamboard running at the same time you could be having a live discussion with your students now if you want to run Jamboard from your iPad you you have two options you can be using Jamboard and streaming with your students or you could be streaming your Jamboard through to your laptop and then from there you could be having a Google Hangout or a Google Meet now one of the final little things we're gonna look at here is screen recording the entire session so because we're using AirPlay this simple tool has a lot of powerful options in it and we can go to its preferences and I'm going to go to the audio here. I'm using a USB headset so I'm going to make sure that I set it to that so we're getting clear audio 
as I'm doing the tutorial. And I'm going to keep both screens running here. I've got my iPad running and I've got the laptop version of the Jamboard session going. Now it's pretty straightforward. Once you click on your iPad screen and you hit this little record button, make sure you turn your microphone on. Right now it's muted. By default it seems to be muted, so make sure it's turned on. And now you're ready to start your session. And so as I go to the iPad, let's maximize this. And I start drawing and writing notes. Once I'm done, I can stop the recording by clicking this little record button here. Give it a name. Save it. I'll just put it on the desktop here. And then let's exit this. And let's go test out our video. If I right click, open this with QuickTime, jump through here. And now you're ready to start. And there you go. Your session. So the whole thing drawing. works seamlessly. And then, of course, now you can take this video and you can post it in Classroom uh, so st students who missed a lesson can see it. Or if it's a tutorial you're doing one-on-one -on -one with a student, uh, you can send them the file, put it on Google Drive, share the link, and they can have a copy of that for future reference.